Hello, I'm John Machin, and I want to give you a warm welcome to our Staff Achievements Awards for 2023. As your Deputy Chair, I'm delighted to be here at the Hilton Cobham to present the awards and celebrate the exemplary work of colleagues who have gone above and beyond to provide patients with great care and a great experience. This is my last awards and one of the highlights of the Ashford and St Peter's calendar that I will really, really miss. Um, year on year, the nominations get better and better. And as always, it was really tricky to choose the winners. We had some incredible nominations. So huge congratulations to everybody who was shortlisted. Part of today is also about recognising and showing appreciation for individuals who have worked at this trust for many years. Our long-standing colleagues, we thank you for your service, loyalty, and outstanding dedication. It feels wonderful. I was very surprised to, to actually win it. I knew I was on the shortlist, but I'm honoured and delighted to have won it. All started after some major heart surgery when I actually needed to have exercise. Uh, I approached St Peter's for uh, the volunteers and they found this job that involved me walking around both hospitals, doing the notice boards, etc. So I got much needed exercise, which occupied my time and kept me out of the pub at lunchtime. I think it's very important that we feel rewarded, we feel appreciated, which I certainly do anyway, and I think everybody should. Not just the volunteers, I mean, I think Ashton and St Peter's is a great team, and I'm proud and honoured to be a member of it. shocked and overwhelmed but very lucky um, and just really honoured um, to have received the award so yeah very grateful for my team. It makes me feel really proud. Um, I've come into this role not really known if I'm doing the right thing and it's just really nice to know that people do see the hard work that goes into the job and that they feel that I'm invested in them um, and that I care about them as well because I want that to come through in all of the work that I do. The atmosphere has been amazing, everyone's been rooting for one another um, and there's just generally a real um, sense of pride. I feel completely overwhelmed. I, yeah, I was not expecting to be the lucky recipient of this award, so I'm really touched. Uh, and so this is about linking, well, sharing knowledge, sharing research um, across the Trust and then the wider Northwest Surrey Alliance. It's quite humbling just hearing the really personal nominations for individuals. Uh, it's a real, really lovely reminder of uh, what what, her, what team ASVH does. I feel really very uh, privileged and proud. I've received the Lifetime Achievement Award. I think it's, it's really wonderful and although I haven't really thought much about receiving awards but having received it I feel extremely privileged and also you know, proud and as I kind of um, embark on my retirement, I think this is like an icing on the cake. This is my second Staff Achievement Awards and I was so proud of each and every one of you today. It is really fantastic to see so many people and so many departments and teams represented. I was truly honoured to celebrate the remarkable achievements of those who have excelled and really shown dedication and commitment 
to Team ASPH and our patients. You consistently raise the bar each year and I feel incredibly lucky to have you as part of Team ASPH. For those of you not able to join us today, thank you for your hard work and unwavering commitment. I am really grateful to you all and appreciate your continued efforts to provide the best care and experience for our patients and teams. Thank you, Team ASPH, for all you do and thank you to everyone behind the scenes for making this day such an amazing success.